Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a modular origami snake. This model is able to bend in any direction, not only right and left, but also up and down. It can be contracted, expanded, and twisted. Everything is very easy to do, just needs a little attention and patience. Before I start, remember to click like and subscribe to my channel. To make it easier to understand, I'll start with two A4 sheets. If you already have the required squares, you can skip this step. First of all, we need to divide each sheet into three equal parts. To do that, we can use a ruler or a shortcut, a trick. Just curve the paper, bending both sides like a letter S. Doing it, at the end it will be possible to flatten the paper. So hold tight both sides, that way. And make two marks. Undo and prolong the marks, folding all the way to the end. Start on the right side, just bring the paper to the left, make a crease, then undo, and using the second mark, fold the paper to the right, and reinforce very well. Keep it folded for now, and only on this third we need to fold the top side to the left, making a diagonal crease. Bring the paper like that, reinforce, keep it folded, and unfold the one third. Now, using the edge of the last fold, fold a new horizontal crease on this side, bringing the paper down. Just like that. Unfold the diagonal crease. Cut off the extra paper Unfold And as you can see, we have 6 squares Cut to separate them using the horizontal and vertical creases Having done that, we have 6, but they are too big, so as next step we'll make them smaller To do so, we need to fold vertically and horizontally First vertically, bringing the right side to the left. Then, horizontally, bringing the bottom side up. Unfold and cut the paper into four smaller squares. Repeating with the others, we must finish with 24 squares for each sheet. To make the first piece, we must first fold in half along both diagonals, like a letter X. So, first this one, just bring one corner to the other and make a crease. Now undo and do the opposite. Finishing this, rotate in this position and fold the bottom corner to the middle. Do the same with the top corner. Now 
and close using the middle crease. Right. Now pay attention to the next step. We need to fold the right side up, bringing half of the bottom to the middle. Just like this. We fold the right side. Now turn it over and repeat. Again, fold the right side, half of the bottom to the middle. We need to make 23 of this, leaving one square without folding. But with the pieces of the other sheet, it is almost the opposite. Here we need to fold the left side to the middle. So, just bring half of the bottom side to the middle, making a diagonal fold. Now turn it over and do it on the other side, half of the bottom side to the middle, folding the left. Again make 23 of this, and as you can see, the pieces are completely opposite. Now all we need to make is the fitting folds. To do that, we need to fold the top corner down, about one quarter of the height, More or less like that. Then turn it over. Repeat the same on the other side. And do the same with all 46 pieces. Now we have 23 of each direction and 2 squares without folding. To fit is very simple. First we pick one piece, unfold both corners and open the middle. Now do the same thing with the opposite piece, the one you made with different color probably. Just unfold the corners and open the middle. Now put the second piece inside the first, placing this way, and now fold the corners of the first piece inside the second, just like this. Close and reinforce with this fitting. There is a slight difference that will allow movement later. So just repeat the same with the next piece. Needs to be the same direction of the first. So just place like this and fold the corners inside. Having understood how to do this, just repeat exactly the same steps all the way to the end. Just put the next one and fold the corners. We just made the body. If you want that to be longer, just make more pieces. But having done that, we can go to the next part, that is the tip of the tail. To do this is very simple, just choose one of the remaining squares and start by folding in half along both diagonals, one corner to the other on both directions.
Now rotate and fold the side corners to the middle. First the right side. and then the left. Keep it folded and fold it top diagonal to the middle. Right side. And left. Now rotate again, fold the top corner down, and fold half of the top edge to the middle. Right side. and left side. Now we are done with this part. To fit, again, it's very simple. But first, as you can see, at the bottom we have two tips. We need to unfold this one and fold the other two inside. Now place the other part inside, in this position, and fold the remaining corner inside the last part, creating a lock. Reinforce a little, and this is the result. Now we need to make the head. Using the last square, start by folding in half along both diagonals. Then rotate, bring the side corners to the middle, close using the middle crease, one side to the other, then in this position, fold the two lower halves to the middle. Ok, now it takes a little attention to fit. As we did before, open the middle, place the rest inside, holding this position, and starting on the left side. We need to fold the corner inside this line, this edge. Now the other side is made differently. We also need to fold the same height, but now fitting in this edge here, in the previous piece. To do this we compare the two. We fold at the same height,
and then we fit into that piece that I showed. We have a lock, so the piece will stick together without glue. Our origami snake is ready! It can contract, expand, bend in either direction, it can also twist, Basically, it can do anything you want and has an amazing result. Remember once again to click like and subscribe to my channel to follow videos like this one every week. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time!